today we are in the kitchen for a legendary recipe bacon and chocolate <laughs> The ingredients, the easiest thing ever. Bacon and chocolate. Bacon. And last, the skewers. You need these so the bacon can go on it, and then you dip it in the chocolate, and then you can go down. And then it's delicious. So first, we're gonna start with the bacon, and we're gonna do it in the microwave because me and the stove are not good friends. Let's say last time I did cook something there, I burnt myself. I, it was frying an egg, and I was like, not doing this again. So we're going to do it in the microwave. Let's see how that works. You're supposed to put it five minutes and a lot of people say I don't eat bacon because it's not healthy and it has a lot of grease. <gasps> Something just popped. Oh my god. Is it alive? It sounds like popcorn. <gasps> well this way all the grease gets out and you don't fry it so this is healthier. It smells good. It's just there was a piece that was like this and then went like <laughs> work. It keeps breaking in half. Second try, we are going to put the bacon a little bit less so they're not so dry and crunchy so we can actually put the skewers in and we're still going to do three so we don't run out of bacon because I see that coming. <laughs> Let's put the chocolate in this bowl so you can actually see it because it's clear. We're going to put it in the microwave for 15 seconds, then stir, 15 seconds, then stir for a minute and see how that turns out. And the bacon is done. Let's go check that. Yeah, that looks better. Like a lot better. So if any of you want to try it out there, just remember to put it 3 minutes and 30 seconds. That's the exact time and it will turn out much better. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Well, nothing 
just melt it for now because it was the first 15 seconds. Second 15 seconds, also nothing. Yes, we are getting somewhere now. Yes, another 15 seconds. So now with the brush, we are gonna paint a piece of bacon with chocolate. You have to take a generous amount. Oh, gotta get in some more on the side. I'm gonna put only half of the bacon with chocolate on the next one. Now we are gonna melt the white chocolate. We're gonna put it first 30 seconds cause that worked better last time. Well, let's put 30 more seconds. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now we're covering one full of white chocolate and we are covering half of the one we covered with the other chocolate. I'm making a mess, can I just say that? make like little lines with the white chocolate to the brown one to make it look pretty cuz yeah cuz life <laughs> okay so that's that I'm gonna do the same thing with the brown chocolate to the white bacon okay let's see if this works it's working it's so beautiful Oh shoot, get some over here, and I think we are done. How does it look? It looks beautiful. I think this one looks better than the other one. If you have any chocolate left, you can just keep it, and then anytime you want to make some more bacon and chocolate, you can just use it, put it in the microwave, and use it again. Now, the moment we have all been waiting for, the moment to try them. Let's just say they look really good. And look at the steak. I'll give you a tip. Do not eat the steak. Almost happened. Okay. Hmm. Actually, it's not that bad. That's surprising. I mean, it's not my favorite thing, but it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Wow. Okay, let's try another one. I'm gonna try with this one now. Right in the middle. Yeah. It's not bad. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna try just white chocolate and then just brown. I 
I think I like the white one better because it's not as strong as the brown one. But it's still really good because the bacon, since it's salty, the sugar from the chocolate mixes with the salty. And then magic. I would encourage you to do this. It's really fun. It's really easy. And it's just beautiful. And if you put it at a party, it like, looks so cool. So subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below if you want to see other food DIYs or anything like that. I will see you next time. Bye!